All right, so we're with the legendary Peter Brock, and we're gonna show you today some George Bartel art. So when I got here, um, I met with your lovely wife, Gail, and we walked through the showroom a little bit, and she was showing me some of the artwork and really some impressive pieces, and I know that you know, or you knew George Bartel personally, and he gave you some really nice pieces of artwork here. So do you wanna tell us a little bit about the, uh, the center work here? Well, one of the interesting things about uh, George Bartel is that he's one of the very few automotive artists in the world. Maybe there's only a dozen um, that are great in really uh, depicting automobiles, but only of that group, I'd say only half are as good as putting in the facial uh, uh, details that uh, align the automotive stuff with the humanness of it. And uh, I think that was one of the things that really makes Bartel's work so unique, that he can combine uh, the faces and the cars together and uh, create a beautiful piece of art. And the really special thing about this original art that, uh, that we have from George is that this is the last work that he had in his studio before he died. And I ended up with all of it, so there's only singular pieces uh, that we've got and each is a really very very special piece of work that uh, would look beautiful any home if you're you know not just interested in automobiles but interested in great automotive art um, it's so much better than just having a photograph or maybe a print because you've got something that doesn't exist any place else in the world it's a, a, a a really fine thing. It's like owning a great car or uh, a great piece of art. Uh, you get the combination of both. So having the historical significance of a of an Ayrton Senna piece, Senna piece is uh, is pretty rare, and uh, this is an exceptionally fine one. So tell me a little bit about George Bartel's approach. Did he have any any way of sort of looking at the artwork before he put it together? Well, I think the the one thing that's really uh, uh, very, very special about George's work is he leaves so much to the imagination. He doesn't overwork everything. There's no super detailing in it. And yet as you study it, uh, you'll find so much detail that works into everything, you know, whether it's the logo or the face or the car or, or how he puts it all together. Uh, and it's all mixed media. He would just, you know, work, you know, it, it's gouache, but it's pen, it's it's ink, it's whatever that he had there. He was very, very uh, uh, extemporaneous in his art and putting it together. And I think that's what makes, uh, makes his work so unusual and uh, makes it really uh, so, so very special for any home that uh, is interested in, in automotive work. Definitely a very cool piece for anybody who's an Art and Senate fan. Yeah, you know, it's, of course, being a, you know, his, uh, his work, uh, it's signed by him down here, and uh, it, it's so easy, you know, on, on your looking at a uh, TV screen or a magazine or something, that everything just sort of looks like a print. This is original art. This is the actual work that he did there, and it's the only one in the world. And it may have been never made into a print. Uh, maybe some of the top stuff was turned into a print. But this is one of the unusual ones. It's just strictly George's original art, and that's what makes it very, very special. Yeah, and I have to say the de detail on it is very spectacular when you look yeah. at it. It's a lot of attention to detail, but it's done just right. So yeah. again, something that's very cool for somebody who wants something with a lot of heart and soul put into it that's, that's passionate about motorsport and specifically Art and Senna. Yeah.